Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Throw picked off inside the 30. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know, the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 17 yard line, first down. I love to see this, Brad. These quarterbacks have the toughest job in college football, and that's to cover some of the fastest players on the field of receivers. And for a corner willing to come up, get off of his block, and make a play to disrupt the run, that's as good as it gets if you're a defensive coordinator. Quick out to his receiver. Humble! He's out of bounds right around the 14-yard line. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. From the 14-yard line, it's third down. the tight end for a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short three play, 16 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And so our score, seven nothing, Penn State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. They give to the tailback. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. And down he goes around the 41-yard line. That makes it third and 11. This is going to be a first down. He's taken down at the 35. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 35-yard line, first down. Watch 14, watch 14. They bring him down. 
Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. 40's Mike, 40's a Mike. The cavalry's coming, and he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Man, that is a great call and a big gain, especially on an early down. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Green nine, yellow three, yellow three, go! And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Penn State up seven points. Red two, go! Quick release, tight end, incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 31. Out of bounds at the 33. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. The Nittany Lions are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. And they get nice yardage on that run. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. They're about four yards away here on second down. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That is a loss of one yard of play. That'll make it 35. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. That'll bring up fourth and five. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tries to get around the corner, and he's tackled at the 18. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Penn State is up a score. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. 
First, First and ten. Ball on their own 29. Red two. We go. Red seven. Red seven. Nice. Run, 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 run. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Nittany Lions in front, 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Tight end right. Let's go, D. Let's go. 87's getting the ball. Red two. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 19 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. 10. From the 38-yard line, first down. made around the 35-yard line. That's a game of three on the ground. That'll make it second and seven. Penn State is up by a touchdown. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. And now the ball is loose. They fall on it. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. And he's hit immediately. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. Under pressure, and they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Three down, three down. Mike Forty, Mike Forty, check, check. He's coming. He's coming. Go. Send us in the bar. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle at the 40-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That'll bring up third and 
inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Four down, four down. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. Ball is loose, fumble, and the ball bounces out of bounds. to get the first here on second down. Makes the catch and look out. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump off pass that was good enough for a first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. And they make the stop at the 13. And a quick throw. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Hit him in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. This is the 11th play of this drive. Quicker than he's got his man. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Number four. That makes it fourth and four. Kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Pittsburgh kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right Ready? now and hitting on all Point cylinders. Eight. He's on the run. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Penn State is up four. Dog four. Red seven, red seven. Kill, kill. Panther two. Let's go. Man, oh, what a hit. 
We've played a half of football here. Penn State's up by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Boy, I hope the second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Penn State is up by four. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. First down. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Red two. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Red two. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. the 33-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. He really got a hold of that one. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. The halfback with a carry. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's a loss of 80 yards. Fourth down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. It really goes. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Penn State holds a four-point lead. 
He has some room. Right down, around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. Misdirection handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Whoa, he just took a lick it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Throw, and down he goes around the 45 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45. He makes it to the 45-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's a Mike. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 27. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second and ten. plays you just sit back and admire the quarterback threw the ball perfectly and again the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play trying to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he converts the extra point a nice six play 75 yard drive and it results in a touchdown like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Red 
Red 2! Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black fire! Caught with room to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 31-yard line. That's good for a game. First down. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. We'll draw up points in the final quarter. 10-7, Pittsburgh. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. They'll run it. Gets out to about the 31. That makes it second and 10. From the 31-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. Third down. Fires out to his receiver. Touchdown, and they take the lead. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. He's going to air it long, in and out of his hands. It's a great series here for the defensive side. They know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game. That, that makes, makes it fourth and eight. eight. Booming kick. Knocked out of bounds at the 35. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. A score here might effectively end this one. Penn State is up four. at the 49-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First and 10. Ball on their own 49. Black five, go! He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Dog four, X seven. They go. They go. And they make.
make the stop the 42 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Black five, black five, blue four, blue four. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 17-yard line. You know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. And he tackles him hard at the 8-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just under two to go in the game. Touchdown, Penn State. Penn State staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 64-yard drive, and they put up seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Nittany Lions have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Caught, open field, steps out of bounds at about the 35. on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's level at the 42. A little over a minute in the game. He wants it all going long. Got it. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Panthers. So the offense is going to go for two. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Penn State 21, Pittsburgh 18. Tackle at the 43. I wonder if they might have just clenched it. If they could be careful with the ball, they could be able to run out the clock. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And he's tackled right around to 34. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he is 
drill at the 32-yard line. You know, the offense right now just seems to be managing the clock. And another first down, they'll move the sticks, and they'll start the clock again, but offense go, doesn't go, seem go. to be in much of a hurry Orange at this three. point. Orange three. Penn State hey, is up by three. Eight. I got number eight. Green nine, green nine. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Penn State, 21. Pittsburgh, 18. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Pittsburgh played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.